Hey everybody, it's your man, Mark from Inglese.com, and I am here to talk to you about another interesting subject, double negatives. Now, what is a double negative? How do you avoid them because it is a common mistake, speaking and in writing? So the fact of the matter is, any English speaker, if he hears you use a double negative, he'll be like, huh, hmm, okay. It's just a bit odd. They'll understand what you mean, but it's just like, it doesn't sound incredibly smart. Um, part of that is because some of the words in a double negative can be things that aren't even really words, like ain't, A-I-N-T. You'll hear that word sometimes in TV. It's not a real word, but people understand it. It's colloquial, as they say. Now, what happens when you put two negatives together? Like, I do not want no work today. Because what you're trying to say is, I do not want to work today because you're lazy or whatever. I know I am. But you end up saying, I don't want no work. And you're saying that for emphasis. You're putting that extra no, that extra negative. It sounds really smart in your head, but when you say it, it's kind of stupid because it, cross it crosses itself off. It's basically saying, I don't want no work, meaning I don't want a lack of work, meaning I would like it if I worked. So it just sounds ridiculous, the idea that you can kind of get away with that emphasis when it actually destroys everything that you were saying. So try to stay away from double negatives. If it has the word no or not in it, or it's because it's from didn't or ain't or all those other ones or neither, watch out for neither. That can be very tricky. Um, I, I don't want neither him nor her. Now you've got like three negatives, it gets confusing, you're like, wait, he does or he doesn't, it, it just, it hurts your head, it's just gonna, your brain's gonna melt. Keep things simple, just say you don't want this, you, you really don't want that, don't throw in a double negative. Alright guys, that's the video for today, hope you liked it, like, share, subscribe, hit us up on Inglese.com for even more quality and more videos. Uh, that's all we got, I'll see you next time.